So this is the initial view of the Notable. It's a custom-made note-taking app designed specifically for, no for books, the ink devices. So it is a alpha software, so it's not stable, okay? It's not even beta software, but you can try it. It has some features, infinite vertical scroll, quick pages, notebook, folders, editors, mode, gesture, intuitive gesture controls, what does it mean? Okay, one finger left and right to add pages, scroll all pages, show, double tap, hide, show folders, double tap, bottom part of the pages, show navigation, two fingers. Anyway, we can try it and uh, just download here. And yeah, I believe just this or you can do alternative versions, older versions. Next, okay, this is a preview version. You could try this as well, but I have already downloaded the latest 0 0.0.10 .0 version, and I have uh, transferred the file, the APK file to my book Tab Ultra and installed it. So let's have a look. Okay, this is my Tab Ultra and uh, I have installed the app already so how, how, how do we go back to the main screen okay this is the app icon I like it a lot it's just a <laughs> doodle so no turbo so I haven't tried it much so I add a quick page or add notebook so I add a notebook here and uh, there are some gestures I already forgot, maybe double tap to, to show or hide the menu bar. And uh, this could scroll. So let's write something first. Write just to test its scrolling. Uh, where is it? Okay. Yeah. I am in the, uh, I think, a normal mode now. Um, how to change it? Okay. Yeah, the the high HD mode. Let's let's move to a quick mode. I'm not sure if uh, the in app will change, but yeah. Scrolling works, but yeah, let's see if the built-in eraser okay works out of the box, but. Maybe need fine tuning. Uh, writing feels pretty good. And double tap, you can, I assume this is pencil. And uh, yeah, you can change the width of it. Oh, it's pretty thick. Let's change to small. Eh? Okay, this is how it looks like. So after you write something, it takes a while to to be rendered into what it actually looked like afterwards. So uh, not good. So yeah. So what is this? From the icon, I cannot tell what it is. So. This is maybe a water pen. I don't know. This is looks like pen, just pen. Okay, it has uh, some pressure sensitivity to it. Pretty good. I believe those are just uh, imported from the uh, books pen API or something. So this is a marker, should be the hi highlighter. I mean, yeah. Okay. Oh, it also needs some time to render it. This should be the eraser. Okay, there are, maybe this is a uh, stroke eraser. So you just uh, erase what your pen tip touches. And this may be the area erose, eraser. So let's erase this area. No? Okay. Uh, let's change it to this one. 
Okay, it also erased the entire stroke. Okay, mm, I don't know how to change to the, you know, you can find erase a small tip. Uh, this one would be a selector. So you select, you can move the item around. And what else? You could go back, you could redo, you could uh, add pages. Yeah, you can add pages. Okay, good. And uh, you can set uh, grid page layout for each page. Let's try the dot grid, the lines. Okay, the lines are pretty narrow. So let's find a, yeah, a relatively thin uh, pen and write something between the lines and uh, you can scroll I think you can scroll okay you can do that uh, okay there is a sidebar indicating where you are on the page is is it really infinite okay so I think I just create a long long page no it go back to a very short page so let's screw it to a very long page and write something here deep down so if i scroll back okay the page is set to that location so yeah so i have something very deep down in the page are pretty interesting uh, very minimalistic at the moment I don't really know what else this let me just go back to the feature page there are some two finger swipes two finger left or right could undo or redo okay test two finger test gestures two finger left or right let's undo okay what why is undoing my this stroke and this stroke okay redo okay interesting uh, two finger single tap is changing between writing mode and eraser mode interesting oh wow this is cool so erase write interesting but i have a pen already with a built-in uh, eraser so um, selection you can drag to move the selected around and double tap to copy the selected writing. Okay, copy this. So I want to select it. Okay, drag to move around and double tap. Double tap, single double tap. Okay, oh, you can you double tap on the selected item. So you can copy it. Oh, pretty neat. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, tap the bottom part of the screen to show quick navigations. What is quick navigation? What is quick navigation, by the way? I don't know. Maybe I don't have, a nav don't have anything to navigate to or from because I only have one page. Swipe up and down, scroll left and right to add pages or go back, double tap to hide the toolbar or call off the toolbar, and double tap the bottom part to navigate. What to navigate? Oh, this one, okay. The bottom part is really bottom here. This is home and, uh, okay, good. Home, this is our new notebook. And what is this plus sign? 
Oh, interesting. You can navigate. Let, let's just add a new new notebook. How to rename this? I don't know. Uh, how how do I go to the new notebook? Let's uh, write something. This oh. This is the new one. Okay. This is the old one. Let's see if we can navigate to the new one. Uh, well, I don't know. What, what is a quick navigation? This has three pages, this is one page. Okay, the number is the... Uh, let's rename it to Note uh, 2. And add a default background to dot grid. Okay, and uh, is there confirm? No. No. Uh, how, how do I confirm that? Okay. Uh, let's just call it new notebook two. And uh, okay, you need to confirm with the enter key and uh, dark red. Um, has it changed successfully? No, there's no dark grid, but let's see if we can navigate. Uh, okay. Ah, I think I got what it means. You need to add that to the quick navigation, so you can have that in your preset navigation, so you can navigate quick switching between those notebooks. Ah, interesting. Okay, I think that's all the features uh, for a quick first look. So if you're interested in this software, uh, you can download it on your own device, but be aware that this is alpha software. So it could be bugs, could be security issues, I don't know. So yeah, try it with your own risk. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.